in this lesson, we are going to be reviewing chapter eight, all about polynomials. Um, so here, number one, write x squared plus four x minus three x to the third plus six in standard form. So we have to write this so that the terms go in order from the biggest um, number to the biggest degree down to the smallest degree. So the largest degree here, we've got a two, a one, a three, and this six doesn't have a variable, so it's got a degree of zero. So we wanna write it in order biggest to smallest. So negative three x to the third, that's our largest. And then we have x squared, positive x squared, positive four x, and then positive six. So that goes in order x to the third, x squared, x, and no variable. So then the answer that matches that here is a negative three x to the third plus x squared plus four x plus six. Number two, find this trinomial plus this trinomial. So we're not multiplying here, we're adding. We're just gonna combine all of our like terms, starting with the largest degree term. So three c squared plus c squared gives me four c squared, and I use those. Negative eight c plus negative eight c is really negative 8c minus 8c, which is negative 16c. So we use both of those. And then five plus negative six is really five minus six, which is minus one. So the answer that matches that here is h. 4c squared minus 16c uh, minus one. And I didn't write my answers over here. A and then h off here to the side. Don't forget to fill those in. Number three. Simplify 3b squared times 4b plus 7 minus 2b times b squared minus 5b minus 3 minus, okay, so for each of these, there's three different groupings here, three different terms, we have to distribute. So we're going to distribute the 3b squared, we're going to distribute this negative 2b, and we're going to distribute this negative 6. So I got three different things I'm going to do. I'm trying to write in colors. All right, so 3b squared times 4b, 3 times 4 is 12, and b squared times b, when you multiply bases, you add their exponents, so we get b to the third. Then I've got this plus sign here, and then distribute 3b squared times 7, which is 21b squared, okay? Then I've got my next set, I'm gonna do it in a different color. I've got negative 2b times b squared, that's gonna give me negative 2b to the third, negative 2b, times negative 5b is positive 10b squared, and negative 2b times negative 3 is positive 6b. Okay, and then lastly, I'll do it in black here, um, I've got this last grouping, negative 6 times b is negative 6b, negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12. So here's everything after I've multiplied, now I just have to combine, sorry, now I just have to combine like terms. Do I have any other b to the third terms? Yes, 12b to the third minus 2b to the third gives me 10b to the third. And then I've got 21b squared plus 10b squared, that's 31b squared, used both of those. And then I've got 6b minus 6b, they just cancel each other out to zero. And then I've got plus 12. So which answer matches this guy? 10b to the third plus 31b squared plus 12d. So number three is d. Okay, hopefully you're following along okay with that. Number four, there are 21 problems total, 20 problems plus a bonus. So if you're trying to pace yourself out, that's how fast we're going. Number four, factor this whole thing completely. All right, so we want to factor. It is a trinomial. So the first thing I want to do is figure out what can I divide all of these terms by. And I'm going to use a separate sheet of paper here to do that. All right, so I've got 88a squared b squared plus 24a squared b minus 32ab squared. All right, I noticed that all of these terms are even numbers and all of them can be divided by at least 1a and at least one b, right? They don't all have a squared, b squared. This one has a squared, but it only has a b. This one has a b squared, but it only has an a. So the most we can divide all of these by is a, b, and then what number in front? Well, I know that all of these can be divided by four. I think that's the biggest number I can divide them all by. 
So I'm going to divide everything by 4AB. Okay, so I'm going to put that 4AB in front, and then everything left over after I divide in parentheses. 88 divided by 4 is 22. A squared divided by A is A. B squared divided by B is B. Bring down that plus sign. 24 divided by 4 is 6. A squared divided by A is A. B divided by B just goes away. And then lastly here, negative 32 divided by 4 is negative 8. And A divided by A cancels. B squared divided by B becomes B. All right, I do notice that I can also factor out another 2 here. So I could have factored out 8 here. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to factor out a 2. And when I rewrite this, I'm going to multiply this 2 out here in front, right? So this 2 comes out to the front, and I'm going to multiply it. So this becomes 8AB out front. And then I'm going to put everything after I divide by 2 back in parentheses. So that's 11AB plus 3A minus 4B. Okay, and then lastly, uh, I'm done. I can't divide anything else out. So this is my final answer, 8AB times 11AB plus 3A minus 4B. Okay, so let's find an answer that matches that. 8AB, 11AB plus 3A minus 4B, H. H, H for number four. Number five. Um, find this guy times this guy. So we're multiplying binomials, right? So I'm going to start off with this 3y, and I'm going to distribute it to both of these other terms, right? So 3y times 3y is 9y squared. Then I have this minus sign. 3y times negative 4z. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Uh, y times z is just yz. Okay, then I'm going to distribute this 4z to both of these terms. So 4z times 3y is positive 12zy, or yz. And then 4z times negative 4z is negative 16z squared. And I've got, oh, sorry, I didn't realize that was so high. These two middle terms here cancel each other out. So I've got 9y squared minus 16z squared. What do you notice about these two um, binomials? They look exactly the same, but one has a plus and one has a minus. So remember, that's our difference of squares. When we have two perfect squares and they're being subtracted, we know if we factor that, we get two binomials that look exactly the same. One has a plus, one has a minus. The first term in each binomial is the square root of this first term. So that'd be 3y, 3y and 3y. And the second term in each binomial is the square root of this second term. So that'd be 4z. 4z and 4z. All right, so we had to recognize that. It was a shortcut. 9y squared minus 16z squared a. Number 5 is a. Okay, number 6. Solve this guy right here equals 0. So we have two binomial terms that are multiplied together and equal to 0. So we're going to use the zero product property. So either this whole term has to be equal to zero or this whole term has to be equal to zero because it's got to be something times zero to equal zero, right? So we just don't know which one's equal to zero. So if 3m minus 2 equals zero, I'm going to add 2 to both sides and then divide by 3. So I'd get m equals 2 divided by 3. If 9m plus 5 equals zero... I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides and then divide by 9. So I get m equals negative 5 divided by 9. So my two answers are 2 thirds or negative 5 over 9. Uh, 2 thirds or negative 5 over 9. Uh, add 2. Oh, here, this one. Sorry, they were just written in the office order. G. G. Sorry, I was saying it backwards. Negative 5 over 9, comma, 2 thirds. Number 7, factor. So we're not solving anything here, we're factoring. There's no number in front, so this is the easier way to factor. We want to find all of the factors of 18 that add up to negative 11. <coughs> so I'm going to say 
negative 2 and negative 9. Negative 2 times negative 9 is positive 18. Negative 2 plus negative 9 is negative 11. So I'm going to have x minus 2, x minus 9. Or you could have x minus 9 times x minus 2. It doesn't matter. So I've got a plus, a minus, a minus, a plus, a plus, a plus. I want minus, minus, a. x minus 2, x minus 9. That's my answer, a. And again, the order doesn't matter, so it could have been x minus 9 times x minus 2. Number 8, find this guy squared. Okay, so after our last lesson, right, we have um, perfect square, or not perfect square, but we're squaring a binomial. So we're going to square the first term. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. r squared times r squared is r to the fourth. We're going to square the last term in squared. And in the middle, we've got a plus sign here, so we know we've got a plus sign here. We're going to multiply 2 times the first term times the second term. So 2 times negative 2r squared is negative 4r squared times n. Negative 4r squared times n. And then we have a plus here. Okay, so our answer is going to be 4r to the fourth minus 4r squared n plus n squared. This guy, we want to find the one that matches that. So it's not this one because it has a negative 4 in front. We don't have a negative 4, not this one. 4r to the fourth minus 4r squared n plus n squared is h. h, h, h for number 8. Number 9, almost done with the first page. Solve y squared equals 5y minus 56. If we're going to solve this and we've got these terms that look like they're part of a trinomial, we have to get them equal to 0. So we want to get rid of everything on one side of our equal sign to get 0 on one side. I also do not want my first term to be negative. So normally I would just say, okay, minus y squared on both sides, and then I get a 0 here. Easy. But I don't want to, get, I don't want to move this over here because it would become negative y squared. I'm going to move both of these terms over here. So I'm going to start by adding 56 to both sides. These go away. y squared plus 56 equals 15y. And then I'm going to get rid of my 15y on both sides. These go away, and now I've got 0. And y squared, 56, negative 15y. This is going to go in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. y squared minus 15y plus 56. Now to solve this, I'm going to have to factor. So I want to find all the factors of positive 56 that add up to negative 15. <coughs> Excuse me. That's going to be um, negative 8 and negative 7. So y minus 8 and y minus 7. Because negative 8 times negative 7 is positive 56. Negative 8 plus negative 7 is negative 15. Once I get to this step, I just have to set each of these equal to 0. y minus 8 equals 0. y minus 7 equals 0. So when I solve both of those, here I'd have to add 8, so I'd get y equals 8. And here I'd have to add 7, y equals 7. So my answer is 7 and 8, or 8 and 7. That would be A. Oops. Okay, and then we've got number 10. Find this guy times this guy. So we're multiplying these two terms by all of these three terms. And I'm actually going to do that. Let me get paper here. I'm going to distribute, right? So first thing I'm going to do is multiply this first term, 3x, times all three terms in the trinomial. Boom, boom, boom. So 3x times 4x squared. Then I've got this minus sign minus 3x times 2x. Then I've got this last minus sign, minus 3x times 7. Okay, so after I've done that first term times all three, now I want to do the second term. So I'm going to multiply 2 times all three terms, right? So 2 times 4x squared. So I'm going to add that. That's positive, so I'm going to add it here. 2 times 4x squared, 
Then I've got 2 times negative 2x, so I bring that minus sign over, minus 2 times 2x. And then I've got another minus sign, 2 times 7, minus 2 times 7. Can't see that. Okay, so now I'm going to simplify and then combine all of my like terms. And I'll try and write it smaller so it's not stretched out. So I've got 12x to the third minus 6x squared minus 21x. Now I'm getting into the red stuff here. Plus 8x squared minus 4x minus 14. Okay, so now I'm working with this line and I want to combine all of my like terms. So I only have one term with x to the third, 12x to the third, done. I've got two terms that are x squared, negative 6x squared plus 8x squared. So negative 6 plus 8 is positive 2x squared, and these go away. Then I've got two x terms, negative 21 minus 4, that's negative 25x. And then lastly, I've got this negative 14 hanging off the end. Okay, so this is my four-term polynomial. And i got to find the one that matches over here. So to start with 12x to the third, so not this one, not this one. 12x to the third plus 2x, so not this one. Minus 25x minus 14. This guy matches what I have. So F for number 10. And then lastly on this front page, number 11, factor. Okay, but this is a little more tricky because we've got a number in front. First thing you always want to ask yourself when you see a number in front of the first term is, okay, can I divide everything to get rid of that? So it's a 7. Can I divide everything here by 7? Nope, can't get rid of it. All right, so I'm going to multiply 7 times the last number. 7 times 4 is 28. So I'm going to find all the factors of 28 that add up to negative 16, right? So factors of 28 would be um, 2 and 14. Well, 2 plus 14 is 16. Could I use negative 2 and negative 14? Is negative 2 times negative 14 positive 28? Yeah. Is negative 2 plus negative 14 negative 16? Yes. So these are the two terms I'm going to use, but I can't just plop them into binomials here. Because of this number in front, I've got to do all these extra steps. So I'm going to rewrite this, 7x squared. But instead of writing negative 16x plus 4, I'm going to replace this middle term right here. I'm going to separate it out into two terms, negative 2x and negative 14x. So I'll have negative, or sorry, positive 7x squared minus 2x minus 14x plus 4. All I did was change this to what it's equal to, but split up into two terms. Okay, why did I do that? Because now I'm going to group. Now I'm going to group. So I'm going to group um, get it black these two first terms, and I'm going to group these two second terms. Now by grouping them, by putting parentheses around, I'm not all of a sudden changing this to multiplication. So pretend like there's a plus sign. Anytime you pull that negative sign in so that there's no sign in between, there's a plus sign in between. Okay, don't forget that. Don't change it to multiplication because that's not what we're doing. All right, and then now I want to divide both sides. So here I can divide, or sorry, factor both, both um, groupings. So here I can factor an x out of both of those. Both of these terms can be divided by x. Both of these terms can be divided by 2. And when I divide this guy, I have a negative sign here in the middle. This guy over here has a plus sign, and this guy's negative. So how can I change both of these signs so that the signs match this side? Divide by a negative number. Okay, so then I'm going to rewrite this. X goes out front. Everything left over after I divide in parentheses. 7x squared divided by x is 7x. Bring down that minus sign. 2x divided by x is just 2. Then I bring this, this negative 2 out front and everything left over after I divide in parentheses. Negative 14x divided by negative 2 is 7x. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. So now you notice that both of my parentheses, you can tell I drew on the back of this paper too, I'm reusing the same scratch paper. Both of my parentheses are the same, right? So I'm going to write that same parenthesis in front, 7x minus 2. 
And then I'm going to pull these two numbers, these leading coefficients together, and write them in their own little parentheses, x minus 2. So I'm done. So I just factored. These are my two binomials that I got this trinomial out of to begin with. So 7x minus 2 times x minus 2. 7x minus 2. Oh, here. 7x minus 2, x minus 2. So they flip-flop the order, which is okay. When you multiply, it doesn't matter which order you multiply in. They wrote x minus 2 first and 7x minus 2 last. It's the same thing. This is the answer they give here, here, D. And you know also that has to work because none of the other problems match. These match, they're just in the wrong order, but that's okay. So that one's D. Okay, now we're going to do page 2. We're halfway. I'm trying to hurry so it's not super long. <laughs> 